Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane. This video is part of my controller collection series, and today we're going to be talking about PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 1. And here we are doing another one. So first up we've got the PlayStation 3, uh, you know, just media remote. And um, I have to say that I was a little bit disappointed with this one because uh, it consumed batteries like crazy. Like, because it's Bluetooth and it's constantly on, or at least I think it's constantly on, but it's just... For some reason, this thing just killed hundreds and hundreds of batteries really fast. And I don't know if it's this version or what. I mean, I did buy it brand new, but yeah, um, this is the, the media remote. Um, I mean, I guess you could play some games with it, like our technical RBGs or something like that, where you didn't have to be like really fast or responsive, but... Um, yeah, I I don't even use this anymore because it's just it just takes up so many batteries. It just kind of like uh, sits in a drawer. Okay, but uh, let's get on to the next one. The and that was for the PlayStation Three, by the way. Um, this is the AskiWare uh, PlayStation Arcade Stick, and uh, yeah, it's not well. No, it does have clicky, so there are micro switches in here. Um, this, all of these buttons and stuff, uh, everything here, including the start and select, are hard plastic with a membrane membrane underneath them. Um, it has the turbo switches. You can actually control how fast the turbo goes and stuff like that. Um, and right here, you can see there's auto there's turbo, and then there's off. So these are all in the auto position, so turn them all to the off. I do like how the, like not only do they have this the actual shape, but the color as well that corresponds between each switch and each button. Um, now this is kind of a non-standard layout, um, like for, uh, what I would expect for arcade, but I have noticed that a lot of the more modern games are running this layout here and just not these two buttons, the L1 and L2. So you'll be, you know, kick, 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 punch, punch, punch. Um, but it, this is really good. It's kind of a, a sturdy base on it. Uh, let's see. Yep, rubberized feet uh, with some squish to it. Yeah, you know, this this one doesn't feel bad. Um, you know, everything feels really nice with this. I picked it up at a pawn shop for like twenty bucks, um, and I love how it's stylized like the old PlayStation. You know, um, like the original model of PlayStation that came out. It's a really good stick. I'm happy to have one. I would kind of like to pick up a second one, but I don't know if that's going to be happening anytime soon. Not because of money, but mainly just opportunity. Um, they're just hard to come by. Let's set that down. We'll pull out the next one. This is the PlayStation mouse. Um, it is not official by PlayStation. You'll actually notice that it is a Pelican product. This is an older style mouse with the wheels and stuff. It is not an optical mouse, which means that you do have to take it apart and clean it. Uh, the other odd thing is that they have such a large... Oh wait, nope, that's the wrong thing. Um, I mean, I, I like how it's see-through and you can see all the pins and stuff. Um, and they even like didn't include some of the pins that they didn't need. But I mean, it moves around, it does left click and right click. Um, you know, it's, it works. Uh, I mainly got this for RPG Maker, and I don't even think this works with RPG Maker, if I remember correctly. 
speaking of RPGs, we have this guy. Um, this is the ASCII grip, uh, also known as the ASCII RPG controller. Um, has circle and X right there. Uh, directional pad. I mean, this you can literally play any almost any RPG with this controller single-handed and stuff. Uh, I do remember this being really interesting with Final Fantasy VIII because uh, you could hit one of these buttons as the trigger when using uh, the gun sword and stuff. Um, it has a fairly long cord. Now, one of the interesting things is I don't think they used a shielded cable with this, which is why it has this huge ferrite choke. Um, although the rest of the controller, I mean, like even this part right here, the where it plugs into the system, it, it looks like a Sony product. Um, but obviously it is not because, uh, you know, and even though this is kind of old, uh, this rubberized part right here, where my thumb's at, it has not gotten sticky or anything like that. And I mean, this is all membrane, all membrane and stuff. It's not, uh, but they're all plastic cover buttons with membranes underneath. Um, you know, fairly good controller. Uh, I got it because I thought it would be kind of neat, um, but I really didn't make use of it that much. And speak of something I did not make use of a lot. We have the Naki NA, I guess, yeah, I guess that is Naki, N-A-K-I, um, or it might be N-A-L-C-I. Um, this is a dance pad, um, but it's only for, for your fingers. And uh, I thought it would be kind of neat. I never really got into the Dance Dance Revolution games that much. Um, I tried it. I just did not have the rhythm. Um, I can have rhythm sitting down in front of a drum set. I cannot have rhythm playing um, playing this and, and using this, unfortunately. But uh, that's it for this video, guys. Have a great day. Well, that's it for this episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane. I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. I have videos on the 1st and 15th of every month and look forward to sharing them with you. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.